Welcome back to Peaks 47. So I'm going to have a little bit of a play in this episode on this board. Martin sent me some bits and bobs out. We've got some 2 mil bays, 4 mil bays and 6 mil bays. We've already got this 4 mil patchy. And what I want to do is try and create some big clumps of grass. The ones that you see that are sort of four times the size of a rugby ball. So I'm going to have a go putting a carpet layer down and then with some blobs of glue, almost try and make some tufts that you would do with the pro grass box, but actually make these tufts in situ. So I'm going to have a play about with mixing the patchy with the beige put a carpet layer down and then some big clumps of the beige in different places. And this is just practicing, see if I can perfect this method before I move back over to an area that's just in front of Crash Corner. This is the sort of look that I want in this area, again, with some more gauze bushes and perhaps have a go and do some brambles and bits and bobs too. So I'm going to start putting a carpet down a two mil. I've actually mixed some two mil beige with two mil muddy just to give me a slightly greener base to work on. So what I've got next is some four mil beige and patchy. I've probably done about two to one patchy and beige. I'm going to put this in the detailer. I'm going to put some little blobs of basing glue over the two mil and see if I can get some concentrated areas of some clumps. And then I intend on putting some little bit of more extra glue on the clumps and then putting some six mil over the top of that. I'm just going to do a couple to begin with and see if this now will take. So as you can see, that's just starting to create some clumps now. So I'm going to try and improve the height on those now. So I'm just going to try and wet these up with some basing glue. I'm just going to stroke the basing glue along the side of the tufts and see if I can use some 6mm and try and get a little bit more height. Now it is hard work but you will get 6mm out of the detailer which I can show you now. I've got the smallest cap on to keep it concentrated. There we go, we're starting to get some height on it now. And they're starting to go the way I want. I think the ground coat with the two mil muddy may be probably the wrong colour and I perhaps should start with some patchy. So I'm going to take this tape off and have another go and see what results I get. So this time I'm starting with two mil beige and two mil patchy as my carpet layer. I feel like that's probably a better colour to start with. So I'm going to repeat the process again, make some clumps, but using patchy and beige this time, keeping the muddy out of it, the two mil muddy, which is the green colour. I'll be back once I've done these, Dan, and then we can compare the two before we move on to another mix. So I've done the same method again, but I've just used patchy and beige. 
and that is certainly the sort of look I'm going for. The two mil muddy, a little bit green for this area on the layout. That's given me a nice base to work with. I'm going to have a go with some turfs and stuff now. Try and break this up. If I can get the result I want, I'm going to move on to the layout. So next up, I've got this olive scatter. And I'm going to use this and just put some little bits in in between these tufts. Just to, just to break it up a little bit. But I really don't want to overdo it with this. So I'm going to just use a tiny amount and see, see what this does. It just sits on the grass, which gives you quite a good effect. And perhaps a darker scatter, which I could do with. I'm probably going to use some T44 burnt grass because I've got a lot of that knocking about. So I'm going to add a little bit over that now just to tone that down a little bit. And I feel like that's giving me quite a good effect. So I've done a few more off camera, just mixing up the different colours. This is just some longer grass and just sort of improving on here. I quite like this, how it's really short. I've used more six mil here, and sort of pinched it together, used my fingers and then added the tufts on there. Put a little bit of gauze bush on there. Quite like that finish. This is the six mil. I've sort of messed, messed around with it a little bit less and put less turfs on it. Had a go at doing some little uh, cow parsley. And this is a bit, a bit shorter, but with some two mil underneath it. So I, I like this one the best. I think that's the sort of messy look I'm going for. But to be fair, I think all three of them look quite good. But now I know what I'm going to do. I can move on to the layout now. Try and concentrate on this one, but probably take some methods from all of them over on that waste ground. I'm actually going to try one more. I'm going to start with two mil patchy, which is very dark. And then I'm going to go with four mil beige with the layering spray system. And then try some six mil tufts over the top of that.
So that's the look that I was going for, doing some tufts in situ. I'm going to do a few more sort of off camera, but hopefully that's gave you the idea. I may still add some little bits of patchy in places just to try and break up that sort of beige colour a little bit more. But I'm going to move over to where my little good station thing is that I'm trying to work and plan now. I'm going to show you quickly how I do that and that'll probably be the end of this one. So I've been out and about today and I've noticed quite a lot of cow passes. A lot of it's got a bit of a yellow tinge to it. So I'm just going to try and introduce a bit of yellow into the white. See if I can get the same sort of colour that I've been noticing today. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some of this over that cow parsley that you've seen me just do. I don't want to overdo it. But just mute down the white a little bit. So I'm going to start doing some work now on this run around. I'm going to put the platform edge in here. I'm having this as a tiny loading bay that sits here. So the idea is the loco comes in, uncouples here, comes into this line, points are switched, runs round the back of the run around, gets in behind the brake van and slowly shunts them forward as they're unloaded. So I'm going to get this front section in, backfill it, start doing all the ballast, may go into another video to do this section here. So I'm going to do the same type of edging as this stuff here, which is the Slater's Dress Stone. I've got plenty left over, as you can see here, the offcuts from doing the drop down parts, the ramp part, the platform. So I'm going to cut this down to shape, flex that in there, weather it up, backfill it. I don't know if to put a, cr a little crane on here or not. I have got one. I want it quite sort of rural and not really built up. So I may put a little crane, perhaps just up in this corner, just for a little bit of interest. So I've shaved back the filler. I'm probably going to use some hot glue here. And wedge that in place as it goes off. Obviously making sure I've got the clearance. I can start weathering it up. So what I'm coming up next, I really need to tackle this bridge. I've got to finish off the ballasting in there. I'm going to clad this Metcalf card here. I'm going to clad this with Willstone and get some nice weathering done on that. I think this whole area needs a bit of an update. These dry stone walls are quite low, quite out of scale. So I'm probably going to redo these. I think this needs to spruce up this farm area. may even replace these farms and do some scratch buildings for them. And then moving on to the viaduct, I can finally do my water pour. I've got a bit of detail to still to add in there, but I'm gonna have a go at doing some more reeds. I can plug it along here and hopefully get a nice water pour. So 
hopefully that should finish that area off just nicely.